Well, 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 little stinkies. Welcome to RimWorld with the realm of your lord and your king, Super Pierre. <laughs> first things first, tomorrow will be a special RimWorld episode, not an episode of this series. So brace yourself in advance. And then this series will continue the day after that one. But I don't even know what today is. So I can't give you... I can't give you an exact day. <laughs> I've lost control of my life. Have I ever told you a story of a fun-loving, drug-addled, hippie faction here in RimWorld? A faction solely against violence, celebrating free love and... Like a lot of like a lot of drugs and bees. There's a lot of bees too. Well, our goal with this very same faction, of course, was to bring about world peace for the first time in... Uh, forever. I don't think we've ever done it before. We're going to try and unify all the factions on this here world to allying with one another. We're not going to turn up in a big ship and carpet bomb them. We're not going to glass them from orbit. We're just going to make friends with them. And I'll be completely honest with you, we've done a pretty, pretty terrible job of that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we smoothed out relations with one faction, which is quite nice, and we've become pretty friendly with the Empire. But I think it's time we do our part as peace-loving flower-haired hippies and spread some love out there into the world, because there's enough milky to go around. But how are we going to get all of those factions to ally with one another? How are we going to turn them friendly? I think we already all know the answer to that one. I think it would be a little morally irresponsible. Well, this is about to be understatement of the air. I think it would be morally irresponsible to caravan a bunch of cocaine out to all of the world's factions. <laughs> I just don't think that's what a good guy would do. So the Yayo is, is off the table. Probably because it's been shot straight up Pierre's nostrils. And I think maybe we'll just stick with smoke leaf and kind of anima grass, maybe psychite tea. Some of the drugs that aren't going to rot their brains. Ah, but I suppose on the plus side, if their brains were to rot away, we probably wouldn't have to worry about worldwide conflict. That's, that's for another series. <laughs> and bizarre as this is to say aloud, we have actually already done a remote playthrough where we turned the world into crackheads and then they saved us at the last minute. 92 of them turned up with opium. And Yayo, it's all the crackheads. They're here to defend us. <laughs> Selling drugs to all those communities for so long paid off. They're all here to stop their production line being interrupted. Thank you, crackheads. Thank you. So this time we're going to deliver gifts, not responsibilities, not addiction. We'll give them the, the, the like I said, the smoke leaf, the psychotic tea is a great idea. Anima grass, things that kind of represent our faction without them becoming reliant on us. But the question is, how on earth are we going to deliver that much stuff to all of these factions out there on the world? If only there was some sort of brand new vanilla expanded mod that allowed us to adjust and change our dryads. Like, for example, taking these three Chlora dryads and combining them into one Super Chlora dryad. Oh no, which ones went into that? It was Poised and someone else. Oh, my... My spreadsheet is going to be such a fucking mess at this point. A lot of people actually pointed this out in yesterday's episode. When the dryads die, they don't die. Their consciousness just returns to uh, the anima tree. Well, I mean, it, not the awakened dryads. They, they, they are severed from the anima tree. And they are going to die cold and alone. Like the rest of us gamers. Oh, and someone came up with a really good idea in the comments yesterday as well. Bizarre that I would even say those words aloud. They said, why not theme areas of the base depending on the dryads that we've got? Because with the... Uh, New Vanilla Expanded mod, you actually have a reason to have more than just Chlora Dryads hanging around now, right? Acid Dryads, Bart Skin Dryads, Chlora Dryads, we've got, we've got a whole Dryad lineup. So why not theme parts of the base depending on the Dryads that are going to hang around there? Bear in mind, they always hang around a particular tree. And I almost don't want to commit to this idea for a second time, but to be fair, we do have however many bee houses now, 27 bee houses with steel bees. We've made 1,700 steel more or less over the course of yesterday. I hate to say it, but I do think it would be possible now, especially now that we know that the transparent roofs don't actually destroy the trees. I think it'd be possible to build the roof over the entire base. And I mean, with the bees here, with the Lucifer Bugs Barn, the Lucifer Grove, this area, we've already covered a fair amount of it. So let's start sensible and kind of aim around our houses. And even though it says it can't build a roof over a tree, we know it's a liar. I am I am going to keep an eye on it, though, because I'm still... Uh, Petzl, build that one. Like, let's just double, triple check here. Yeah, we are absolutely fine. And then we go back to the original idea of having that perfect Garden of Eden. I think that's a, that, that's going to be a big success here. Uh, hello? What the hell are even those? Are those German Shepherds? <laughs> oh, they're so good. I mean, not now they're not. Now they're very bloodthirsty. Run a little Chlora Dryads 
Let's get the Acid Spitter Drives a little bit further back. This, though, the Hedge Maze could work perfectly. We need to get the Chunks lined up properly. Something to stagger those enemies. Let's take our Bart Skins and put those guys at the very front of the line. And under the watchful eye of gigantic Pierre, this colony will be defended, goddammit. Maybe every bedroom in the colony should come with a... My god, you see the speed? The big Chungus moves, my lord. I think they should all come with a complimentary statue of Pierre. It seems only right. So we'll build it out of that. Should be building out of ironwood. There we go. We could build them out of silver. Well, that's a little overkill. Maybe Pierre's Groove Grove could have a couple of silver statues. Can we do expert colonist on statues? That is so situational. What are they attacking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Long boy. Oh, uh, I cannot stop him. I can't stop him. Uh, Go to the Lucifer Grove. Piss off. Piss off, long boy. Okay, they should leave the door alone now. Oh, you fool. Oh, that giant idiot fool. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Right, you guys are there. Big Chungus, let's put you on the front line. Slime Slinger, we want you prime position, but not too close. And then we go a line of Chloras, and then we'll bring you guys down to here. This is going to be a fucking massacre. Large Marge, hold the door. Yes, there we go. Let's, let's bring these guys in to help reinforce. When we've got a good lineup here, we can just save it. You stand on the chunk? Oh, you can. Okay, and then let's put you guys back there. Just form up layers. If they get past Large Marge. Oh, hang on. If we swap you out for Chungus, they can attack on the diagonal, right? Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. You come back. You go there. This is, this is, this is exceptional. Look at that. Optimal. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Can we save a defensive position for the Dryads? <laughs> wow. That's, that's great. What the fuck are the dogs doing? They're not actually coming through. I think it's because that door was slightly disturbed. Let's forbid that. Let's also forbid this one here. And this one too. Just in case the colonists decide to go for a fucking walk again. Aye! Come through the maze. Should we send Chungus out? Chungus, go bait them through. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Melee attack. Boom. Has that got their attention? Uh, not really. Um, we need bait. Who is the most delicious, tastiest bait of all? That is right. It is, of course, Milky Truckles. I feel like at this rate, Big Chungus is just going to kill them all. What are they doing? They've kind of frozen? Oh, this is weird. I don't like this. Poor sweet Big Chungus. You can't hold it by yourself. He's such a brave boy, but even this is too far. Oh, my God. I didn't think they'd fucking kill the man. He gets a hero's burial. He was our first ever awakened triad. We're, we're giving him a, we're giving him a, a, some sort of sarcophagus. Hold on, we'll deal with the rest of those dogs in a second. Uh, solid gold? We don't have the gold for it. Solid silver. That's still, I think, pretty. I uh, still think that's a pretty good going. Let's put it like there. There you go. A little bit further to the back, but still nice and sensor. Has that baited them out? Oh, that is, that's baited them. Oh, poor big chungus. Your death, though. Your death may have saved the rest of this colony. <laughs> Look at them going through the hedge maze. <laughs> this is the most thematic kill box I've ever seen. The second that dog steps around the corner, Slime Slinger and his friends, they're, they're going to annihilate him. Here it goes. Here it goes. Get him! Get him, Slime Slinger! What a hit! But don't hit Large Marge. What the oh, there's one back there. Oh, Sergeant Stubby. Hey, come, come into line. God damn it. To be fair... Depending on how tanky Marge is, we might want to put Slime Singer back here just to give him a better position. Oh, sizable Margaret. Oh, be careful of those burns, you dicks. But I mean, is this not what she's there for? She, she's just going to stand there, tank the hits. The, the, the German Shepherd's going to melt faster than she does. This is her fulfilling her life's work. I almost feel like we should move the other Bart skins here instead. That might be more sensible. That way, if these guys break, we can try and move them out of there. They're getting past Marge. They broke the fucking hedge. Yeah, okay, that was a good idea. That's a good idea. Get him, Marge. Get him, Marge. Holy crap, they got through the other hedge too. I mean, it could have been one of the slime slingers that hit it, but I don't think they'd have caught it on that angle, right? If they're, if they're aiming up here, seems unlikely. The only thing I'm a lot concerned about is the acid spitters hitting the regular plano chlorodrides, given that they're really, really weak. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much exactly it, yeah. It was bonded to Milky? You can't get bonded to a fucking Chlorodryad. They're designed to die, Milky, you dickhead. And I bought him out here to watch them die. <laughs> <laughs> that is a special brand of cruelty, wow. Um, oh, to be fair, it was the German Shepherd that did it. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't friendly fire or anything like that. It's slightly less tragic. 
died doing his duty. Let's save that as our new defensive position because that works quite well. And in that entire Manhunter pack, we lost two Dryads. Granted, one was Big Chungus, but Big Chungus has already taken a few hits there. And Spec Person. That's not bad for what was a, a, a major raid. Don't know if we'll get quite so lucky if it was, say, um, you know, Cataphracts or something like that. Good night, my sweet, hideous, fleshy beast. He's up there killing German shepherds in heaven now. <laughs> and I am acutely aware we didn't even bother to have a funeral for Cass, the person who I marched to their doom in minus five degree weather. While well, they were naked. That bit's probably worth mentioning. Oh, there he is. He's a big cow. I'm going to call you Graceful Moof. Oh, no. Let's not call him that at all. <laughs> I was going for a, a portmanteau of moo and hoof, and then I realized that it could be, could be misinterpreted, perhaps. Whilst Petal and Sorcerer are working on the roof, something I feel like I've said a dozen times at this point, we'll get Milky to work on the non-lethal gifts for our neighbors. How about a nice, sensible 1,000 of each? I guess the only other thing that's relatively safe is the Psychite Tea at that point. I don't think we have Psychite Tea anyway. Uh, Psychite Brewing, that will do it. I'm sorry, did I see that right? Party Tree for Pierre's Groove Grove. Now we haven't even touched any of the regular Dryadic stuff, Dryadic body parts rather than Anima body parts, so I guess a bit more plant, a little less psychic. Dry security. Teach your dryad how to build special turrets. Oh. And then dryadic decorations could be quite nice as well. And the reason I bring up the decorations specifically is for a while now, little Petal has been sat there waiting to get the the highest rank we possibly can for her. Or is she? Everything's breaking down from where we're spending all the time building the solar panels. Hey! 17%. Hey, no, you need to fix this right now. God, I hate nature. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, next series exclusively from a fella. We're building everything out of plastic. No solar panels, no wind turbines, no growing crops, only hunting. And we'll call that series America. <laughs> Poor little sweet meat, our awakened ambrosia dryad has finally become tree. Something the rest of us mere mortals can only ever dream of. A legendary palm tree which yields the ambrosia fruit. Ambrosia fruit is delicious and produces a drug-like mood boost. Whoa. So this is... Oh, shit. Wow. Lifespan of 135 days. Wow. Though, I guess in theory, if you wanted to, you could build an entire ambrosia grove by making those ambrosia dried. Sure, it only lasts 135 days. That's roughly, what, two and a bit remote years? Ambrosia is... is a, Oh, my God. Everything is breaking down. Look at this. Ambrosia is a drug I, I think we could probably afford to gift to other people. Oh, Milky Chuckles, you've really got your work cut out for you here, pal. I genuinely think they might finish the roof before Milky finishes the drugs. How are we looking? Whoa! Hey, look at that. That's... I mean, that's pretty much almost everywhere that I designated. Bear in mind, I didn't even start building over here. How are we doing for steel, though? Yeah, 146 well, now. I'm going to assume it's just the fact that we haven't done much beekeeping. Right, yeah, see, we, we don't have the usual petal and sorcerer on it as well. How are our Luciferian bees doing? We've got four Luciferian right now. Cone progress 100%. Yeah, we just don't have the beekeepers to unload it all. Oh, and of course, Dicebury's being head end. Can't do anything besides art and research, essentially, and of course, growing crops. Ah, what do we want you to do now? Oh. Okay, that gives me an idea. Let's just go ahead and queue up power armored animals. A lot of this research is pretty pointless along the way. Recon armor, marine armor, plate armor. We, we can't wear any of that. But I think that's an absolutely fair trade-off to potentially see Pierre in power armor. Long boy! Separation sickness. That must be... Oh, shit. That must be where they're cut off from the tree for so long. Oh, damn it. And you can tend it, so it looks as if... Oh, God. Yeah, so Slime Slinger, then. So I assume the tending, then, will lower the speed at which they will eventually disappear. It'll help delay it somewhat. What about Large Marge? I assume Large Marge is in the same boat. The same sizable reinforced boat. Where is she? Oh! Oh, no. Night's bringing her in now. Oh, Large Marge. I'm so sorry. Yep. It's over. Let's build all of our first generation of Awakened Dryads the... The silver coffins. I think they deserve that. Sweet, precious Marge. Thank you. Thank you. You who gave your life to save us from that pack of very angry German shepherds. She's gone to the great big dryad grove in the sky now. Because this one is packed. We, we can't fit any other dryads in here. Please, for the love of God. There is another Luciferum. I need to time it. 
I need to see if we can make one every five days minimum. Otherwise, if we dose up Pierre with it, it's just a ticking time bomb. Granted, we can always expand the uh, Lucifer production as much as we like. I want Pierre to get cured as soon as possible, though. Any sensible person would. That should be it, right? There's almost certainly a missing gap somewhere, you know, weird pillars in the way, a tree is slightly where it shouldn't be, something like that. But if I'm not mistaken, that means we can take away this giant hideous wall in the middle of the base, and now our dryads can run free. I don't know, to, to clarify, I have no idea how the hell we're going to keep this area warm. <laughs> uh... Right. Giant insects are tunneling through. Thread points used 5,800. I guess it's because we're under a roof. Right, see, now that's... I mean, that's not entirely fair. Just when we needed Large Marge the most, she vanished. Okay, let's get everybody indoors. Petals, stay with the Lucifer bees. Milky, stay there. Uh, you make a mad dash into that one. That should be everybody nice and safe. How many dryads we got? Probably, probably not enough. This is going to be a mess. What do you think? Should we get in the middle? Or shall we try and bait them out one hive at a time? We could position right here. If they break those solar panels, I swear to God. Uh, I, I guess we'll take things a bit more sensibly and we'll line up up here and try and bait them up to us. Oh, God. Yep, solar panels instantly smashed. Not happy about that one. Holy crap. I'm not sure we're going to be okay here, squad. The Bartskin Dryads are doing exactly what the Bartskin Dryads should be doing. Let's get you moving between them. I want to bring them slightly, ah, oh, like slightly back. This is going to be quite tricky. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's do that. That's fine. Get them. Get them. Let's bring these guys forward a little bit. This is horrible. This is horrible. But you know what? I think our guys have got it. Holy shit. Oh, little dryads. You're my only hope. Jon Snow the second is down. Our first dryad has been lost. Oh, dryad. Claw dryad three. Eden. Shoopy. Poor sweet Shoopy. Multicolored Mew. The fucking raptor isn't doing anything to help. Use the shit bag. Okay. Okay. I think we're down to the last few. Wow. Okay. There you have it. All right. Let's go and deal with the... Are there any others? There are a few in here smashing up my batteries. Dice. How did you get downed? I smashed the door down? No. How the fuck did they get in? In fact, Laurentius opened the fucking door for them. Oh, my acid dryads. Come on. Come on, it's one mega spider. You can deal with that. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Near Kumi. Near Kumi, bring it down. Okay. I think that's it. It could have been a lot worse. Better take a look at how Dice is doing, though. That could be a slight issue. How you looking, little Dice? Actually, not that bad at all. Okay, you're fine. I was going to say maybe now it's finally time to implant some antibiotics. No, no. No, she's okay. The big loss there was um, all of those fucking solar panels. Oh, two batteries as well. Not a single Bartskin Dryad died though. Those guys are tough as nails. And remember, don't be sad about the Dryads that died. They did exactly what they were born to do and they were happy to do it. Unroofed 164. Holy crap, it's actually working. How much more have we got planned? I, I have no idea. <laughs> so we'll finish that off. There's a tunnel area here. I think, don't think we finished kind of up in this area, but it genuinely might work. The only problem with it is to make it count as indoors, we need to put these doors in. Now I've, I've put two doors down and opened them. So the enemy should still walk through the hedge maze unless we've got a mod that changes their pathfinding. So it might backfire and they might just burn down the hedges, which would be a real pain in the ass. My God. Holy shit, indoors. <laughs> I think it's actually worked. Well, that is, that is ludicrous. Okay, okay, okay. Now we try and take the walls off of this. I'm sure that's going to cave in a lot of ceilings, but we can, we, we can tidy that back up in a second. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, no, it's way worse than I thought. Well, today I've learned a valuable lesson. Turns out when you think you have enough pillars, you certainly don't. Although I disagree, the roof collapsing here. How the fuck did that not work? Okay, there's a tiny lack of overlap here. But even then, why the hell would this bit all collapse down? Oh, because of like there? Oh, for fuck's sake, really? What about this bit? That bit's indisputable. That bit's covered there. That's covered there. How... How did that bit happen? What about this? What are you talking about? Hedges can't support roof? Oh, maybe hedges can't support roof. Is it just everywhere else I built it? There was just enough wooden pillars around to hold it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, look, the wall here could have held that no problem. 
Well, that's annoying. Chloro dried one, acid spit to dried five. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'll start renaming them all now that we have, we've, we've got rid of the awakened dryads because this is, this is such a clusterfuck. Hang on, but every time a single block of roof collapses that takes one steel to build, if I'm not mistaken, you get a steel slag chunk back. Uh, if I'm not going insane here, that drops 15 steel. Huh. That's a bizarre way to make a profit. That is more likely where I've adjusted the settings of this roof mod so it matches the last roof mod. So we're not going to be doing that. That's understandably an exploit. I'm not going to repeatedly cave in the roof on our dryad so that we can try and get some steel out of it. That's for the America series. Well, that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Oh, because the walls were there and the walls didn't have a roof on them so they weren't connected. That is nonsense. <laughs> How can this keep happening to me? What are these roof support? Okay. I mean, again, that one is definitely my fault. Goddamn mechanoids, get the fuck out of here. I'm busy. We could turn them into a transparent roof, though, so I suppose that could work. Now we'll find out, though. This, this, is, this is a nice array to find this out from rather than, you know, big old pirate band. Now we'll see if they'll actually go through the hedge maze or whether or not they'll just knock down my walls. But given there's a termite right there, I think, I, I think I'll probably know the answer to that. How many dryads we got? They all respawned. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I was going to try and snipe the termite, but you know what? We might as well just go in hard. Get them. Where are the Bart skins? Hey, speed up a little bit. Come on now. Oh, God. Chlora Dryad. Get him. Get him. Get those lances. Once the lances are dead, we have nothing to worry about. Then we win. What? Fight, though. Keep going. Bart skins, get in there. Do you think the Bart skins would be strong enough to take out the... The Pinkman by themselves? Let's send them to go fight the Scyther. That way, it's just kind of distracting the Scyther more than anything else. Uh, you guys go spit on that termite before he knocks the wall down. This is for science. I'm sorry, little Bartskins. No, 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 go fight the Scyther. Niakumi, damn it. Chlora Dryad 15. I think it's going to be a complete wipeout either way. I think all of our Dryads... What the fuck are you idiots doing out here? I think we're going to have to wipe the slate clean with Dryads so that I can rename them all fresh. Wow, that was actually kind of close. And that was with a full Dryad lineup too. Shit, okay. We might be hitting the point of critical mass with Dryads then. So the Bartskins all survived it again, right? Yeah, so all Bartskins were alive. We lost three acid spitters, but our chloro dryads keep getting wiped out. Let's turn the carriers back into chloras. I don't think we really have a choice at this point. We need more colonists. We need we need new recruits. We need people capable of maintaining multiple trees at this point. Bart skin, chlora, acid. And then we've got chlora, 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 acid again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Take two of the of the giant glass dome. So it's eleven degrees C out in the actual real world. Then in our little drugs dome, where there's absolutely no ventilation for all these drugs that we're aerosolizing. 28 degrees C. <laughs> we have made a tropical fucking paradise for our little dryads. Come rain, snow, or sleet, it makes no difference to us now. We're unstoppable. We are unstoppable. These dryads are unstoppable. We don't need any of these walls. Right, we, could, we could take all these walls out and make it all free range again. And you know what? I'm on board. Well... I mean, you know, as free range as something can be when you are under a giant glass dome. How many levels of vegan are you on, my guy? Because I just roofed over the entire base so that we could have free-ranged vegetables. <laughs> the tyranny of hydroponics has ended. Vegetables will roam free and happy. And our dryads, of course. I mean, way more importantly, the dryads are out there now. Obviously, they haven't really moved that far from the tree, but they're happy about it. Now, there is one thing left to do. There is one thing we've been working towards for a while now. Uh, that's not only the animal power armor, which we have almost got. I don't know if it worked with Pierre, but it's worth a shot. That is the great cure. Now, we could just give Pierre... You know, we could just give Pierre the Luciferum. We could stick him in a hospital bed, feed that to him. But where's the gamble? Where is the risk? That's not natural. To inject him with, with Luciferium, that doesn't make any damn sense. We need to do it the way nature intended. The way God intended, with a giant auto bong aerosolizing it in the corner of this grove. Before we do that, we definitely need to make sure we have a power switch. Otherwise, that's going to be a, a, an absolute disaster. We'll put the main power switch. I guess we'll just put it there on the way in. And then we need some power conduits connecting that up to the main grid. Let's not connect it up to the main grid until everything else is built and ready to go. Then we put Pierre in. We lock the door. We flick the switch on. Enough until Pierre has a dose. Then we turn the switch off we let all of the luciferium dissipate then we let pierre out what a truly horrible idea <laughs> what a sincerely terrible terrible plan right there we go 
And then let's plug that into the grid. Okay. Then we get little Pierre, who I assume is in his throne room. Uh, Gertrude, Jimmy. There he is. Militarized animals. Very nice. We are almost at a new generation of Pierre. We lock the door. We bring Petal over. Fuck your party. I've got a bigger party to throw. Uh, make sure we don't hold the door open. That might have some very unintended consequences. Is it fueled? We've got 50 fuel in there. Now, I know the Lucifer bug is down. We'll deal with that in a second. Now, we flick the switch. These fucking dryads would get out of the way. We flick the switch. That powers on. The Lucifer bong. There's not enough power in the grid. Are you kidding? There's not enough power. Fuck. Those insects have fucked us up. We can't get any more advanced components. Well, I'm, sure we, I'm sure we can make some, I guess. We need a fabrication bench, though. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got so close to greatness, Pierre, but we were pipped at the post. Let's throw one of these down. And then let's make sure that... What the fuck are you building over there? Then we'll make sure that we have enough advanced components to let this go in the future. Ah, uh, I guess we'll try and put it close to the tool cabinets. Putting it there would, would be kind of good. All right, Pierre, that was a test run. Thank you. You, 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 were, you were very cooperative. That was just, a, it was just a trial. Well, the Lucifer bug detonated, but luckily it was nowhere near people. I, I, I don't care. I tried to feed it. I tried to give it all the grass it could possibly eat. Turns out they don't eat grass. We're vegan. What am I going to do? Butcher an animal to feed to this fucking beetle? I don't think so. I probably could have fed it meals. Like, cook entire meals for a Lucifer bug. That would have been so good. Why? Oh, no. No. You see the problem? I see the fucking problem. Solar panels don't work under transparent roofs. Are you kidding? No, no, no. They must have roofed over it, right? Uh, because look, there's casting a shadow. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. Well, there's our entire power grid fucked. Brilliant. Can't reinstall these either. Can't be minified. But, uh, these transparent roofs! Years off of my life. Oh, they don't give back advanced components either. I mean, I knew that. We're going to have to just build regular solar panels for the timing and hope that's enough with the advanced geothermal generator to keep us going. What a horrible day. Let's, we're just going to turn everything off. Luckily, we don't have that many machines, right? So drugs app can go... How many smoke leaf joints did you get in the end? What, four? What the fuck? Oh, no, we're good. A thousand animate joints, a thousand smoke leaf. He's already finished that job. That's good. Let's turn all of this crap off then. I'll keep the research table on because we're almost done with power armor animals. Although... To be fair, we probably can't build that until we have a fabrication bench anyway, right? This is very, very silly. We're going to have to build... <laughs> We're going to have to build an area in the dome that doesn't have a roof on it. So that we can use solar panels. Where the hell did you get those advanced components from? Oh, they were queued up inside these. Ah. Okay, well, there's a fabrication bench sorted, I suppose. That's quite nice. And now, this was accidentally a big brain play. I mean, this was all planned, of course. I, I, I exactly knew what I was doing here. Now we just make the advanced components the regular components until we've got enough. I don't think we'll need regular components because we have our slightly bugged out uh, outpost out there in the world. Now we're able to make enough advanced components to build the advanced power sources, which should keep the lights on enough for Pierre's Lucifer bomb. This is... How has it taken this long? So now we've got to build a building specifically to remove the roof from. I should plan out the uh, solar panels first, I guess, and kind of see what we've got to work with here. Where are my... Nope. Advanced solar panels, right? Here you go. So let's just throw down as many of these fuckers as we can fit over here. Yeah, I think I think three, three by three should probably do it. You know, we could probably fit in three by four. Put another one there. Yeah, that that will that will do the trick for sure. We've ascended. We've actually ascended. We can make as many bloody solar panels as we like now. There you go. Finish finish these. Go fast. Oh, Pierre. Pierre, can you smell the Luciferian, my friend? We don't have enough materials to make any more. We're out of gold. Fine. You know what? I'll take that. Six solar generators is more than enough. Oh my god, Pierre, what the hell happened? Incapacitated. 20% consciousness. Oh. Ah, oh, Pierre did a little too much smoke leaf and now he can't walk. <laughs> Alright, I have a way around that. It's not ideal, but we can just we can just do one of those. Then we just say that is Pierre's bed, and then we should just be able to carry him over. Oh, he's back up anyway. The guy's fine. This is it. At long last, he is cured. Okay, Pierre's in position. We lock the door, we flick the switch, and then Petal, do the honors. <gasps> oh, there you have it. Luciferium. Okay, okay. But he doesn't have the addiction. 
Because normally there's a Luciferium need as well added. Oh, shit. Over time. Uh, I guess we'll just leave him there. That wasn't over time. That was instant. My man got blasted. He had his face over the chimney. <laughs> uh, sure. Well, that seems to have worked. Okay, but he's not addicted to it. Okay, well, now we'll see if it actually cures him in the long term. Otherwise, we might have to give him a dose. But, I mean, functionally, it should have the same effect. Because it's, it's just the same... It is just the same application from Luciferium. Okay, let's m make sure this smoke clears before we undraft Petal. Just in case whatever issue runs in and tries to refuel it straight away or something like that. And that's that's the two big dreams realized right there. Those were my two big goals for this series. Getting that big roof over the entire thing. A lovely transparent roof. Not that transparent so that solar generators don't work apparently. And then curing Pierre. And building every autobong is of course a goal which we've, which we've done very, very easily, but Pierre is cured. All I want now is the power armor. I've got to see if it works. I don't think it will, but we'll give it a go. And then my little side project back here I've been working on in the background of everything else was the uh, well, the statues of Pierre, which I think at this stage we should be more or less done with. Now, I've been installing these very tactically, as you might notice. As you sleep, a giant watchful statue of Pierre stares you down. And I think that should be, we're missing one for that bedroom, but then, like, that's it. Every single person has their own giant Pierre. And perhaps even more horrifying is the consideration that, well, you know, Milky and Fed Smoker are married to multiple people, and Pierre gets to watch everything. Every, everything. Or I suppose, more importantly, they get to watch Pierre. As whatever happens, happens. <laughs> the ultimate encouragement. And I mean, look. Shit, it will work for me. So maybe now is a good time to move on to the entire point of this series in the first place, which was, of course, the diplomacy. We've got a thousand of each drug stacked up, ready for Milky and our awakened carrier to... What the hell do they call the Graceful Moo, of course. Milky and Graceful Moo can go out there and hand deliver a thousand drugs to our people. I mean, if we can ally with everybody tomorrow, that'd be a fantastic first step. But it's not just about us allying with everybody. That's fairly easy to do. What we need to do is get everybody to ally with everybody else through the peace talks, the diplomatic marriages. That's going to be a little more tricky because that entirely depends on what events we get given by some of the mods we've got enabled. But in conclusion, thank you all for watching. Apologies if this episode is out late, which it almost certainly will be. That took a long ass time to do everything we needed to do there today. Thank you to the Link King, Daedrus, Vash, Atumno Unconquered, Hudzu Wudzu, Selethel, Dirtnerd, James Riemann Schneider, Glacier, Jestinor, Hottie Sphinx, Pep Fiend, Sign Mortar, Altari, Fairy Wiz, Shadow1317, and Grayson Tagger for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. And a thank you as well to Placeon, Seppi141, Runeloon, Mystic Aces, Deuterion, Pans Ram, Mystic370, Gamma Freya, Dexy Nigma, Stresher, Plumby, Space Drake, Icy the Great, Metman, Lucius Martius, Big Boa, and Pink Photon. Is it supposed to be Big Booba? I know what you're I know I know what you people are like. 